What's going on guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video I want to go through a brief overview of using Target CPA bidding strategy. Now this is something that's really cool and not a lot of people have um, been using it in our group and just basically in general. It's, it's extremely underutilized and it's a really powerful automated bidding strategy that you should definitely at least test. So if we go into our demo account here, go into any campaign, doesn't matter you would come under settings and we'll go over here to bidding and you'll be able to change your strategy here so you would basically come up here we'll do clicks oh, wait here we go ah there we go okay so you're gonna come under over here you're gonna go to target CPA now if you don't know what target CPA means it just means target cost per acquisition so it's your cost per acquisition of a lead alright so if you hover over it or if you just go over here it kinda gives you a brief little with Target CPA, Google Ads automatically sets bids, so they're automatically setting the bid. You have no control over what Google's bidding. Okay, something to, important to understand. <clears throat> automatically sets bids to help get as many conversions as possible at the target cost per acquisition. So you're telling Google, all right. So if we're a plumber, let's say we want twenty-five dollar leads. We're telling Google, do whatever you have to do to get us plumbing leads at twenty-five dollars a lead, or around that range usually it's it could be 10 percent 10 or 20 percent higher or lower than the whatever target CPA you set um, obviously they do their best to try and come in at what you're looking at so every time I've used this I've used it mostly in the law in the law niche and um, we set them for like 40 45 40 dollars something like that and they usually come in around like 48 per lead which is not bad. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty close considering I don't have to worry about bidding at all. I don't really do anything besides turn it on and let Google do all the heavy lifting. All right, so some conversions may cost you more or less. Like I just said, the strategy you select here will be applied to this campaign only. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much how target CPA bidding works. You're just telling Google, hey, listen, I don't want to worry about doing keyword bids and ad group bids and all kinds of adjustments and stuff like that. Here's what I need to get leads for just go to work and make it happen all right that's basically what you're telling Google now something to understand and I would highly recommend is that you only use the strategy on a a campaign that actually has conversion data all right don't just build a brand new campaign and turn this on um, in my in my opinion which I've seen it doesn't work that great when you do it that way it just works best when you already have a campaign that is getting you know 15 to 20 leads a month or something like that and then you turn this on to get more and get them for a more affordable cost basically the more conversion data you have the better this strategy is going to work out for you so that's just something to keep in mind when you're um, when you're testing this now there's also one that's very similar to this which is target ROAS Ross whatever I just a million different things people call this and this is basically the same thing except you're not telling Google what you want to acquire a lead for you're telling Google what you want your return on ad spend that's what that means return on ad spend and uh, that's something else to try too which is pretty cool so for this one you would just you would just check that and then you just do your percentage all right and another thing here gives you more um, how this all works but I'm not gonna to touch on this right now but that's just something they're kind of like sibling related here okay so but target CPA definitely test it out if you have an account with conversion data I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised and remember, if, if you're getting, say you're getting, you're using Target CPA and you're getting your leads at whatever you're, or close to what your Target CPA is, and but I've seen this too, where it kills your volume, your lead volume. Like, yeah, okay, well, I got this DUI lawyer, he's getting $35 leads since I used, started using Target CPA, but he went from getting 10 leads a week or 15 leads a week to seven or six or something like that, okay? So that's something I understand too, is you might have to incrementally raise, come in every week and raise this up five bucks or six bucks or whatever. And just until you kind of hit your, your stride where you're getting enough volume and you're getting it for an affordable price. All right, just keep that in mind. Now, as always, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There should be a button below to your right, I believe. So check that. Uh, Check that and uh, subscribe to our channel and also check out the links in the description. I'm going to put some cool stuff in there for you guys, some free guides and uh, Facebook group and all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.